All right, coming up next, it's a bantamweight matchup between Dominic Cruz and Uriah Faber. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here's the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Dominic Cruz. Injuries, of course, DC, have been a huge part of the narrative. Unable to compete in 2012, 2013, 2015, 2017. Didn't fight in 2018. He is back tonight, and he believes he is ready to present the best version today. And when you talk about Dominic Cruz, you expect it, because even when he's away, you know that he's preparing himself to give you the best version of himself. His series with Uriah Faber, The Bad Blood, is something that we will always look back to whenever we think of his career. But it's those big moments, those bright, shining moments, the win over TJ Dillashaw after being away for years to reclaim the title. Those moments are the ones that will always stand out the most when you think about Dominic Cruz. All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. More than five years apart, with similar height and reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 35 wins, 11 losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, the California Kid, Uriah Faber! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, what a punch. Oh, a huge block there. Nice job by Faber defensively there. And there comes the separation now. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. A little single collar tie there. Nice punch by Faber. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Nice stick with the right hand. Nice stick with the right hand. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on it. Wow. Actually got the takedown. 
position up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Cruz. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. So just over 20 total Push strikes. Again, get him on a single. That was a great takedown. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or did no, I read my last run? Absolutely rights? not. You don't survive that. It's <laughs> over. It's over, John. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch him go parallel right next to the bottom. Nicely done. Faber's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Cruz. Round two is next. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after him guns and blazes. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Again, back into the position. Now we're going. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Faber's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, look at him. That is it! There is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the California Kid, Uriah Haber! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that.